This is a twin turbo vise that I put on my Avid CNC machine. It's working great to produce the bench dog tops that I launched a few weeks ago. I'm making really short work of these, but that's going to be a separate video. In this video, I'll show you the vise build and install, because as you can imagine, mounting a vise to a CNC comes with some unique challenges. And I also constructed the vise in a way that saves material, which is appealing regardless of where you mount it. If I have a lot of twist in a board, I use a scrub plane just to roughly get rid of that twist before I send it through the planer. I found I don't need to clean up the rough marks of the scrub plane, this works well enough. have downloadable instructions for the build of the twin turbo vise to lay out the vise jaw without this three quarter inch brad point bit, but I have one and it makes things faster, so that's what I'm doing. The raking light from a small flashlight makes it a lot easier to see the mark on the wood through the spinning Forstner bit. Angled planing to take care of top to bottom racking. Highly recommended. So to this point, it's looked like a pretty standard vice build, but as you can see, the thing that I did differently was just put trim around the front rather than cut a big piece out of a block of wood and end up with one of these that you got to find something to do with. I thought the trim was kind of a nice way to go. To do these angles, you want to set the miter saw at just under 16 degrees and just over 29 degrees to do this one and this one. So just under 16, just over 29. And do it with some scrap wood just to fiddle with it to make sure that you've got it right. Here I'm laying out the block of wood to connect the vise to the CNC itself. Obviously this is going to vary a lot for different CNC machines. If you're a CNC person and this video has piqued your interest and you think that putting a twin turbo vise on your CNC might be something that makes sense for you, please get in touch. I'd love to kind of kick around ideas for how this could be done differently, especially with people with more CNC experience than me and different machines other than this Avid. So uh, please get in touch if you think there's some potential.
After I get the vise in place and put some finish on it, I need to deal with getting it square to the CNC router's motion in the X, Y, and Z dimensions. That might sound hard and tedious, but it's actually very easy. I attach some sacrificial plywood to the jaws of the vise and then put them under clamping pressure. Then I made a cut using only the X axis of the CNC to create a ledge that will be perfectly squared up in all dimensions when the vise is under clamping pressure, which is exactly what you want. Something else to mention here, a vise will sag a little bit when it's open all the way. Twin turbo vices don't drop very much just because of the nature of how they're mounted. Having these two support points far apart makes that sagging really minimal and it's never bothered me. But for a CNC machine, where I just did this operation, I've been using it for a little while here, but I just did the operation in the video you watched to get these all squared up to the uh, to be parallel with the motion of the bit. If I open the jaw a lot less or a lot more and I've calibrated it for just one position, then this would be too high or too low. So what I did before was shim both of these carefully with uh, some little pieces of paper to get that exactly perfect so that this when it opens and closes doesn't move up and down with respect to the bit. Now I put some cork rubber on those freshly cut surfaces so that I get a better grip. This doesn't change the calibration because the workpiece still bottoms out uh, at the base of where that bit was cutting and it's ready to make the cuts that you saw at the beginning of the video. So, hope you found this interesting. Again, please get in touch if you think you have a CNC machine that would benefit from a vise. I'd love to figure out with you how best to mount it and take advantage of what it can do. Thanks for watching.